Hi, and welcome to Productive Introvert Community Podcast. And this is the the pre-podcast series of how I'm building my podcast in six weeks. So a bit of a, a progress report, a few times a week until the podcast comes out in July. And I'll just be sharing, you know, what I'm working on, what works, what doesn't work, and the kind of the questions I'm trying to answer. Uh, so I'm sitting outside today, uh, just to let you know. So there, there's a lot of noise. You may hear some birds, which is lovely. You may also hear some um, remodeling noises over there. Some of the neighbors are really, they're really, you know, getting it. <laughs> so uh, sorry about that, but I hope that this is still quite good for you to follow along. So as I shared in one of the, the episodes, um, I think it was like the P1, uh, episode of this series. When I s- create something new, I always start with the user. So this is a very natural uh, place for me to, to start, but uh, it's not, not necessarily the place that everyone naturally starts. And that's perfectly fine. And in the P1 episode, I, I kind of talked a bit about, um, about that and why your natural starting point may be a bit different. But where I usually start is I start thinking about uh, the people like you, you know, who who will be watching this, who will be listening to this? What would you like to see? What would you like to listen? So last week was all about kind of fine tuning those things and kind of thinking it through. So I started basically with my graphics which sounds like a strange place to start, right? That's usually, in the past, I used to do that at the end because those were like really the, the, the finishing touches. First, you get the bulk of the content done and then you do the finishing touches. But now that I know my natural way of working and I know that actually my natural place to start is to think with, is to start with the, the, the end user in mind. So the graphics and all those things, those are usually the first things that people see. So now I usually actually start there. And like I said, your starting point may be different. And that has to do with the way that you naturally solve problems and um, what we call the natural advantage in the framework that we use. Um, but so I spent some time on my graphics. <laughs> some of you may have seen that I've, I've put a banner up on, the, on, on this YouTube channel. Um, I'll swap it out probably because I really don't like the picture. It's like my face is like this close and I don't like that. <laughs> Probably it's fine, but you know, I'm like, no. So I'm going to swap out the picture, but I wanted to have something up there um, because we have to take imperfect action, right? Like I used to get so stuck getting perfectionistic on these details and I wouldn't publishing publish anything until I, I thought it was perfect. But the only way to kind of see what works is to experiment a little bit. And um, even though my face is like that, <laughs> really close and really big on the picture, um, I've decided to just put it up there to kind of see, you know, how does this banner work? Do I like the text that's on there, the size of the text, those things? I can see that in C2. And now I know what I'm going to change. And it gets me through that process so much faster. Um, and another thing that I uh, made the graphic that I made in Canva is that little kind of like a, a social post graphic where there's there's uh, the, the name of the podcast um, with the episode title and things. And I have a little giffy, giffy, hiffy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this moving image there um, that is excerpted from uh, an excerpt from the uh, that episode. And I, I usually start out, I can show you because this is on YouTube. I can show you when we do the official podcast. I'll have audio, so I won't be able to show you these things, but now I can show you. I usually start out with like a little uh, sketch of what I want, kind of the layout and, and the things that I think should go in there. So I have the GIF here. This is the, the, the name of the podcast. Of course, you can't read it because it's mirrored, but just to get a sense of the layout, uh, my logo and my website. And then later on, this, this uh, audio wave thing that I 
I see people use when they do podcasts and I really like it. It's like, just, I'm going to try that. Um, and I also spend a lot of time thinking about my channels, you know, um, where I'm going to be sharing the podcast. Oh. This is the pre-podcast building your own podcast series. <laughs> Sometimes things fall over. <laughs> I'm going to grab that real quick because I do have notes. I never go anywhere with my without my notes. So now you know a little bit something about me that I wasn't planning on sharing, but there you go. So yeah, the channel. So I'm going to repeat them really quickly. Um, that my own website, thefrankermessage.com, that's where that's going to be the home of the, the podcast. Then I'm using a LinkedIn newsletter, um, which has already gotten an amazing response uh, that I'm still quite... <laughs> I, I'm avoiding using the word surprise because I'm, I'm trying to train myself not to say that uh, because I know that this is a valuable subject that, you know, a lot of people are interested in and that I can help people with. But, I'm, you know, every time you get these kind of jumps and these milestones, it takes a little time to, to give them a home, let's say. But I'm really excited by that and so happy um, with all the kind responses and, uh, and interest that people have shown. So um, that's another place. And then there's, um, I'm forgetting something. Check my notes. Oh, of course, there's YouTube, where this is going to be uh, hosted, basically. The videos are going to be hosted there. Um, and then general social media channels, uh, aside from LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. So that's five. I came up to seven in the last one. I think I'm forgetting something. But anyway, the, those I have these channels that I've been using over the past couple of months, I would say fully. Um, two years, bits and pieces, because I didn't start that wide, of course. I started with just one and then grew from there. And these are the channels that I feel right now. I can wrap my head around them, so I'll use those. Um, and then coming back to the question, like the user, right? You, what do you need um, to be able to listen to the podcast and to see it and be in a comfortable way? Of course, we're going to need some audio, you know, basic thing. Um, but this is where I'm kind of, this is a black box for me. <laughs> so the next week is going to be all about figuring that out. So I know that... I need to record audio, which I'm doing right now. And I know that I need to put it somewhere for people to find. And the, the, the general um, audio channels that I know, podcast channels, um, and need to be on Android and iOS, right? I'm an Android user. So I know Spotify, that's everywhere. So I'm definitely gonna, gonna try to get it on there. And then for iOS, I have actually no idea. <laughs> I don't know, Apple users, can you help me out? Where do you listen to your podcasts? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to be uh, Googling and YouTubing that and hopefully getting some comments from you guys to help me out. And I know there are some seasoned podcasters and experienced podcasters following along, probably laughing at me right now or maybe finding some recognition. So can you help me out and let me know some of these, at least point me in the right di direction and I can take it from there. I know some people use Anchor. Um, and I'm not quite sure what Anchor is yet, but it, I have the sense that it's like the place that where your, your audio lives, the, the podcast lives, and it gets, and you can then send it to the other places like Spotify and uh, wherever you get your podcasts on iOS. Um, so I'm going to look into that, but I have no idea yet. So these are some snippets that I've seen and heard from people. I've seen people use them. So that's going to be my starting point. I'm going to go from there. Um, the rest of the week, I'm not going to bother you the rest of the week with this um, because maybe it's time for a little break. And you'll see me again next week, and I'll give you a little update then. I also am taking... A, a time, a bit of time to um, get my mind away from the podcast because I have 
a free masterclass coming up on Thursday. I challenged myself at the beginning of the year to do a free masterclass every month. And the podcast kind of, it was a bit spontaneous to do it right now. So the masterclass is, is still happening. I'm not postponing that. Um, but I want to give it my attention and to make sure that the people who have signed up already, uh, that I can also give them my full attention. So the rest of the week is going to be, there's not, not going to be any update. You'll, you'll hear me hear from me again next week. Uh, but if you're interested in the free masterclass, you can still sign up for that, for example. And that uh, this time we're talking about habits and how to create and keep a habit. And I like to share a personal experience um, and kind of use it as a case study to frame the concepts that I'm talking about. And this time I'm talking about my journey around food. So I suffered some health issues and needed to really dr dramatically change my diet. Um, and I'm happy to say that my health issues are very well controlled now and I'm off medication almost for most of my medication. I still use some asthma medication, but all the other medication is off. Um, and uh, I'm gonna share part of that and the habits that I created around it to kind of help me to get into this new lifestyle and the things that I would change because uh, there were a lot of things that I would change. <laughs> so if you are uh, if you wanna uh, sign up for that, you can still do that uh, by going to my website at thefrankermessage.com slash next masterclass. And that's every month there will be a new one uh, posted there. It's set next month because that's when the podcast is coming out. So I'm, I'm giving myself permission to skip one masterclass and to do the podcast, uh, dedicate myself to the podcast in that month. All right. Thank you for listening and see you next week.